Well, it's already part of the way through the week. I think it's hump day today. Is it today, Wednesday? It almost feels like Wednesday. Um, I live a day at a time. So as you can see today, I'm a hot mess. Um, I slept in a tent last night with my daughter and my husband. She challenged me to a dare uh, that I would not sleep in a tent overnight in our backyard with her because she's been wanting to do some tent camping for a while. And so she offered to actually pay me to do this. Um, and naturally the mom that's in me, I did it for free, of course, just for the experience. And it was great. Um, but these hips do not sleep on an Arab mattress made for a queen size bed with uh, three of us cramped into a tent. So needless to say, it was a very long night. <laughs> so my body is really sore today uh, from sleeping in a tent on the ground and on an Arab mattress and not getting a lot of sleep. And today is like my busiest day of the week, go figure. So I'm going to share with you today um, some recovery type stuff. Um, I have a new platform from Life Pro called the Waver Mini, and it's much smaller. Um, and I've got my BFR bands on. So I'm going to just turn on some music and we're gonna do some intervals on the Waver platform. If you have a platform of your own at home, um, use whatever you have. If you don't have a platform, just follow along because you can still do the exercises without having to use a platform. Um, if you're interested in a platform, I will post a link um, below the video after we're done and a discount code so that you can um, choose a platform if you like. And if you decide that you would like to try one before you buy one, I have like five in my house right now. So you can try whatever uh, you'd like to try uh, before buying one to bring home. So anyhow, today's gonna be a little different than usual, but again, I'm a hot mess. I'm sore, tired, uh, feeling grateful though for the opportunity to uh, share with all of you today. So uh, let's see if we can get done. So I'm gonna start my timer here. Um, okay, yes. And so this is gonna be a very short workout today because you can only be on the platform for about 15 minutes at a time. So we're gonna keep it very short, simple. Um, all right. So, on the platform, I'm going to just stand up here and just get loosened up. I'm turning mine on. And I have no idea which program I'm using. I'm just using a pre program setting. There's nine on this one. Okay, so, throw the shoulders nice and easy. And as you can see, um, as this picks up some speed, um, you're gonna see more and more of my jiggle, jello, juggling all over the place. Um, it's a feel good thing. It's definitely a good thing. All right, we're swimming. Just trying to get loose. Woke up with a stiff neck, hips are hurting, butt is sore, everything hurts. Going backwards. Nice job. All right, from here, because my platform is so little, I'm just gonna squat and hold this. I'm just working those knees in and out. Just a little baby platform. Nice job. All right, from here, I'm gonna take one step back. I'm gonna drop down as low as I can go. Um, the way that these platforms come, some of them come with an exercise mat, so if you have a mat handy, you can drop it down to the floor and then you can take that knee all the way to the floor and really loosen things up. Lifting, we're gonna lean at the same time, really opening up that hip and that back. Nice. Squeeze that butt cheek for me, really tighten up back here. Should open up this up here in the front. All right, from here, we're gonna come up. We're gonna drop into a kneeling, into a kneeling lunge. And as you can see, things are vibrating, so it's a lot harder. But coming down, touch the knee of the floor, coming back up. If you can't touch the knee of the floor, you can come down as far as you can go, and then right back up. Super slow motion, so sloth speed. 
as I like to call it. Nice. Let's go another seven seconds. And switching sides. Woo! Burn, burn, burn. All right. So again, finding that spot behind me. I'm gonna drop all the way down to the floor, really loosening up here, pushing the ceiling away. Lean into the leg that's forward. I want you to squeeze your butt cheek behind you. So squeeze as you lean and you're gonna feel that more in the front. Nice job. All right, from here, we gotta get back up. So if you need to push up on that knee in order to get back up, then balance is kind of compromised with this thing. So dropping down, coming back up, dropping back down. Ooh, that leg is not happy with me today. This is my sore leg. Nice and easy. Another 10 seconds. Good, things are burning. All right, nice job. We're gonna go to a side angle now. So, my platform's gonna stay the same. I'm just gonna basically go from standing on top to striding out to the side. And I'm gonna put a hand down here, and now my whole body's involved in this. So you can see everything's shaking. We're gonna open up. And again, you don't have to have a platform to do this. Nice job. All right, bring that toe straight up. Oh, burn, 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 holy cow. All right, back forward and step it back on. Wow, that got me a burning. All right, so we're here. We're gonna take a big step to the outside, other leg. So stepping out, really driving that energy into this foot, finding the platform with my hand, Open it up. Opening up. That's it. Good. Staying nice and low. Another 10 seconds. Burning it up. Three, two, one. Nice job. Step it back on. All right, from here, we're gonna step it back and we're gonna go into more of a plank position so we're really working the core. All right, so from here, I'm gonna find contact with the platform. And from here, dropping down into the knees. Um, my platform is a little different than a lot of the others and the top is a little sensitive to the hand so we're gonna place a towel here. And from here, push the ceiling away Squeeze your shoulders together. Push the ceiling away. Now I want you to stay here. Elevate those legs into a plank. There we go. Now we're feeling something. And again, you don't have to have a platform to do this. Bring one leg up and really sink into this. That's it. Take that foot back. Other leg comes up. Nice job. Take that leg back. Bring the other leg up. Lift. Now this is a heavy speed on my platform, so it's jarring my neck a little bit. So if you have trouble with that, you can go to the tops of your hands instead of your palms. That softens the blow. Lift. So again, if that bothers you, Go to the top of the hand. Really sink into this. Nice job. All right, from here, you're gonna grab your uh, mini band, if you have a mini band handy. If you don't, pretend. But from here, we're just right here, we're gonna go out, out, in, in. Nice and easy. Ooh, 
things are burning. All right, now we're gonna make this a notch harder. I'm gonna grab the outside, outside of my platform, and I'm here, and I'm just gonna tap. So we're getting a lot of abs, a lot of core. From here, I want you to push back as if you're going to, actually I'm gonna to have to move my tail on this one. You're gonna push back as if you're bringing your chest to your thighs. Really good low back stretch here. Back to that plank. Rock it back again. And back forward. Nice job. Putting my towel back down. Really working on that plank, going out, out, in, in. Nice job. Nice job. All right, from here, bring those knees down. Now we're gonna sit on the platform. Having a seat. And from here, having a seat on the front. And from here, put the bands around your toes, like such. And we're just gonna hold this. You can work out and in. So now we're getting all abs. If you cannot hold this, you can drop your hands behind you. A lot of burning. Whoo! Goodness gracious. Stay out wide. Head and chest high. Good. Back in, down. Okay, so let's work on some balance here. So we're gonna slowly drop back, elevate those feet and hold for five seconds. We're gonna slowly drop those feet back down and back up. Slowly lower, elevate the feet and hold. That's it. Drop back down, recover. Lean back, hold. Back down. Recover, things are burning. Woo! Elevate. All right, back down. Now we're gonna make this a notch harder. We're gonna put the band around our wrist, okay? We're gonna elevate those legs, open those arms. Five, four, Three, two, one. Drop it back down. Hands come up overhead. One, two, three, four, five. Back in front. Lean back just a tap. Elevate those feet. One, two, three, four, five. Up. Lift. One, two, three, four. Five, one more. Lean back. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job. All right, from here, take those hands back, and from here, we're just tapping those feet. Getting a lot of quads here. That's it. Make sure and keep those abdominals nice and tight. Nice job. Good job. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so from here, we're gonna stand it up. We're gonna go back into that plank. Back into that plank. You're just gonna walk to one side, walk to the other side. Nice job. We got it. Nice 
Nice job. Bring those feet back to center. Bring those knees in tight. Slowly lower. Push the ceiling off of you. Squeeze those shoulders together. Push away. Squeeze together. Push away. Squeeze together. Oh, my mid-back needed this today. Push away. Squeeze together. Oh, my goodness. We'd be on fire. Nice job. All right. Going to go back up into that plank. Drop back into a down dog. Back straight forward. Drop it back. Straight forward. Lifting up. Back. Lifting up. Nice job. All right, one more. All right, now let's go ahead and take a stance on top of the platform. I've got two minutes left on mine. Uh, mine's got a 15 minute um, pre program setting. I think most of the others are 10. Woo! I am tingling, itching. Histamine's being released. It's a great thing. We're just going to drop into a squat and we're just going to hold. Got to hold this for a whole minute. Burn, right? If you can drop all the way down. My feet can't go very wide, so I'm having to elevate those heels just a tad. But things are burning. If you want to stay right here, you can just stay right here. Things are burning. You can see things shaking. Good. 37 seconds left. 37 seconds. Nice job. Really sink a little lower. 20 seconds. All right, give me some little pulses. Burn. That's it, 15 seconds, we're almost there. Good. Five, four, off and then I'll take you all through some good stretches for the hamstrings, some sciatica stretches. If you have sciatica issues, um, I'll run you through some sciatica stretching. So bear with me here real quick as I deflate. You can only really leave the B3 bands on for 15 to 20 minutes-ish is the perfect time. If you're trying to lose weight, lose size, if you're in pain, um, just trying to increase your overall wellness with the Fountain of Youth. Uh, that's what the B3 bands are for. And since I've been using them, my body has really been changing its makeup. It's been good. You only have to wear them once a day and you don't have to do a whole lot. So if you decide you don't wanna work out with them, you can just wear them around your house while you're doing chores. You can wear them on a treadmill, on a bike. There's all different things you call it, all different kinds of things you can do with them. All right. And just like that, we're done. Whew. All right, grab yourself a drink. Let me get some good tunes on here so that we're doing more calming instead of revving things up. If you didn't get excited with the workout today, again, today was more of a um, recovery workout after sleeping in a tent with my daughter and my husband last night. My body just hurts today. So today was just about relaxing and uh, making things feel better. So I'm gonna take you through now some stretches for your lower extremity and your hips, because that's what I need to have done today. And then we'll end it up here in about five, five minutes or so. So, move this jolly platform out of the way. As you can see, very light, about 20 pounds at the most. All right, I'm gonna take you through my hip sequence. So on this, what we're gonna do, knees together, feet together, arms are over to the side. All I want you to do is just rock your knees to the side. Just back and forth. Knees just back and forth, side to side. Nice 
nice job. Keep doing that for me. I'm gonna turn this timer off so I can focus on the sound of the music because the sound of the music is quite therapeutic. Um, I've got my regular watch on so we can see the timing intervals. Okay, so just side to side, nice and easy. So if you have a platform at home and you just got off of it or you haven't used yours today, um, if you wanna use the workout, whether it's a pre-programmed setting or a manual mode, um, and then get off and do these stretches, these stretches will be a lot easier to do after you're on the platform. All right, so we're gonna take the feet wider apart and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna rock and roll side to side. This leg is definitely a lot tighter than my other leg, so that's what I want you to be thinking about. What do you feel when you're rolling your legs side to side? Does one side seem tighter, one side, side seem looser? What are you feeling? And then last but not least, we're gonna bring your knees up, feet are together, and we're gonna roly poly across. Back across the other side. Just each direction a little at a time. Nice job. Back to center. Just nice and easy, rocking back and forth. All right, what I want you to do, feet flat, knees are bent. We're gonna take one leg and we're gonna cross it over. I want you to think about pushing that knee away from your body as much as you can. So we don't want your knee really high, we want your knee away from your body. And right here, we're just gonna wiggle ourselves side to side, nice and easy. Nice and slow. And this time, I want you to go as far as you can go until your foot hits the floor. When your foot hits the floor, think about pushing that leg away from you, and that's going to open up these hips. Okay? That's why a lot of us have sciatic pain. Okay? From here, we're going to bring it back across. And what we can do is we can elevate the leg now. So I went from being just leg across to just picking up the knee, and same thing, we're just gonna wiggle. If you can't hold your leg there, by the way, it's a good way of strengthening that muscle. If you can't hold that leg there, you can use a towel to hold it into place. And we're gonna take that leg across. Oh, there's the stretch, right there. Right there in that deep booty. It's a good thing. Breathe. And reach. Let's bring those legs back up, lower back down, all the way flat. And then from here, we're gonna bring this leg straight up and down and we're gonna have you point and flex that foot, rolling in a circle. Take that leg and cross it on over. Nice job. There's a really nice stretch here on the hip and again, um, I woke up in the middle of the night, I don't know how many times, my hip was just seizing. It was um, really mad at me for sleeping on an air up mattress, which I don't do very often. You're gonna cross that other leg across and we're just gonna rock and roll. Um, so I woke up in the middle of the night, I don't know how many times, just being in pain from laying. I'm a side sleeper and it's really hard to sleep on your side on an air up mattress with two other human beings on it. Uh, especially two that sprawl out <laughs> but nonetheless it was a fun experience we had a great time and it was just really nice to unplug so we had our own set of rules can't have electronic devices except for an alarm um, couldn't have music it was just absolutely serene just listening to nature listening to uh, the crickets and the frogs and listening to the cows and it was it was great so I told her, I said, thank you, sweetheart, for making me do this because I would not have made the time to do it and I really needed it. But my hips didn't need the air mattress, so I got to enjoy part of it. So things are really loosening up now. I'm starting to feel a lot better. Super important though, because today is a super busy day. I start with my first client at noon and I go straight through until nine o'clock tonight with the massage and body work. So a lot of people coming in today. Uh, so this was, priority to meet with all of you so I would feel better 
All right, we're gonna take that leg up, other leg down, point and flex that foot. This is my injured foot. It's doing a lot, lot better. Take it across. Nice job. A little pop there. My back felt great. All right, now from here, we're just gonna roll to our side. We're just gonna roll to our side and you're gonna take your top leg and just squeeze your butt cheek. You don't even have to pull the leg back. Just squeeze the butt cheek. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then you can take the other leg out in front for balance. And so you should be able to feel this all the way through here in the front. What I don't like to see is this up here, the leg up high. Just try and keep your leg underneath of your hip. So try and make a straight line with your leg as much as you can. And release, okay? And so I'm going to roll the other way and do this from the back side so you can see it from the back side. Grabbing the foot however is convenient for you. If you need a towel to grab it, that's okay. Squeeze your butt cheek. And the other leg comes out in front for balance. There's the stretch. And relax. All right. Well, I don't know about all you guys, but my hips are feeling back to loose again. My back is nice and opened up. And I feel like I could go conquer the world today. So. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this very quick workout, very different than what we're used to doing. Um, tomorrow, I will not be uh, sharing with you. I've got an early, early morning client tomorrow, but I'll be back on Friday and I'll be back again on Saturday. So super excited to share my time with you and I really appreciate um, all the love and the likes and the shares. Um, if you need a platform, I will post a, video, a, a link below the video um, how you can get one and the discount code you can use for me exclusively. Um, the mini, the waiver mini is much smaller. Um, I'll be showing, I have the Rumble X Plus, which is a new Rumble X. We have three new Rumble X platforms available. So I'm going to be sharing the Rumble X Plus on Friday morning so that you can catch a look at that. It's actually much like the original Rumble X, but it's flat. So it's really, really cool device. I'm absolutely loving the new stuff that's coming out. So look forward to seeing you again next time. And again, thank you again for watching. Have a great day.